Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, hold on for a moment. How are you today? <coughs> uh, okay. What about you? Uh, I'm quite good too. Thank you for asking. So, what did you do today? Uh, today I go to school all day and I just come back home for one hour. Oh, only one hour? Yeah. Why one hour only? Uh, because I stay at my school to play badminton. Mm -hmm. All right, that's great. And did you have fun playing badminton? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun playing badminton? Yeah, of course. I like the sport. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. So, did you already eat your dinner? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got my mom think uh, our lesson we start at six o'clock. Oh, so, really? so I have dinner at my school, and but when I am having dinner at school, my mom uh, have message me that our lesson will start at seven a.m. Uh, at seven p.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, do you buy food at school? What can you repeat? Do you buy food at school? You said that you're supposed to eat dinner at school, correct? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you have a cafeteria at school? Yeah. Oh, you I... know, some of my students told me that they don't uh, have a cafeteria at school. I don't think it's possible. Is there a school in Vietnam that has no cafeteria? No, we don't have cafeteria, but we have a canteen <coughs> that <coughs> open until a uh, half past five p.m. So I bought bread from there and I eat it. Mm -hmm. All right, I understand. Okay. Oh, do you have a fever? Why are you wearing a jacket? Wait a minute. I know. Okay. I can hear. I can hear something that is playing. Uh. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that because. Uh, my roommate doesn't want to turn off her phone, even though I'm having classes. He's kind. She's kind of rude right now. 
Yeah, 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 I'm really annoyed. Yeah, okay. But can you hear it? Uh, can you hear it? What you call this? Can you really hear it louder? Um, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so are you be fine? Yes, it's okay. Okay, thank you so much. So what you call this? I forgot. I'm supposed to ask you something. <laughs> Alright, anyways, again. Oh, I remember. Do you have a fever? Why are you wearing a jacket? Um, no. Today in the land, it's a little bit cold. And you know that it's in the winter, so... so. Ooh, alright. Wow. Is it even at the daytime? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you ready now to continue our class? Yes. Okay. So, again, we are going to watched a another video which is about health just like the yesterday just like last the lesson same, mm -hmm. the same two of the video mm -hmm. uh -huh. again what did you say the same two of the video mm -hmm. yeah so we are going to watch this again and all right so same thing we have questions about the video and you have to read the script after okay mm -hmm. <laughs> all right is that the water from your tap or faucet mm -hmm. do you drink mineral water always yeah uh huh. The water in the water from your faucet or from your tap, you can't drink it. Can you repeat it? I can't understand. Uh huh. From the water from your faucet, do you know what is faucet? Oh, I don't know. The water in your kitchen, like uh, a tap. Do you know what is tap? No, that I bought it uh, from outside. Uh huh. Hold on. And how do you call this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. What do you call this from this thing? What do you call this? Oh. <laughs> how do you call that? I have a faucet that. This is uh, from our toilet and our sink that we often use it uh, in cooking, so in uh, the um, housework, but we don't use it to drink. Mm -hmm. Why? Isn't it uh, you can't drink it? Because we think it is <coughs> dirty. Oh, okay, I understand. All right, so again, that is faucet or top. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's watch a video. Again, pay attention to the video because there are some questions based in the video, okay? Yeah. Say ah. Cover your face, Doc. <laughs> ah. Ah. Well, you have a cold, that's for sure. What about the other stuff? The pain in the back and the side? Well, have you taken any medications lately? Just some over the counter stuff uh, painkiller, cold tablets, uh, nasal spray. Well, that sounds okay. And some uh, cough medicine, vitamins, and acid. That's a lot of medicine. And some uh, decongestant. That's too much medicine in one day. That must be why you're feeling so bad. <laughs> Have you been around anyone else who's sick? Uh, my friend Donna's had a cold all... Oh. Hold on. What happened? 
I don't know for a moment. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. That's too much medicine in one day. That must be why you're feeling so bad. <laughs> Have you been around anyone else who's sick? Uh, my friend Donna's had a cold all week. We lifted weights last night for about an hour, ran five miles. He had to walk the last mile. Is that your usual exercise routine? Yep. I started it yesterday. <laughs> well, that explains it. You exercised too much. That's all? That's all. A little chiropractic treatment might help you. Stay away from me. <laughs> Did you understand the video? Or do you want to watch it again? I understand that if a doctor try to have more, have more. <laughs> yes, very good. Okay, but before we are going to answer the questions, I want you to read the script first so that you can be able to understand what they are saying. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Have you been to the dentist? Have you been in a dentist before? As you, uh, uh, as you can see my feet, that I told you, I have a matter with my teeth. So every month I need to go to the dentist. Mm, because yeah, the first time that I went to the dentist was mm, the first quarter of this year because I have to to extract my 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 tooth and now i know and yeah yesterday i went to the dentist again and another tooth will be extract will be extract and i'm so scared because i want to have my mom here but he's living away from me so yeah i will be just going alone when you go to the dentist just uh hold on does your mom go with you no, that's my dad. Oh, <laughs> all right. So you like better with your dad than your mom? Yeah, <laughs> because my mom often shouts and she uh easy to be angry. Uh, but how about your dad? What does she? Uh, what does he do? Oh, he's is calm down and uh when but. When is he sleeping? But and someone make noise or interruption or interrupt him, he will be like a monster. <laughs> okay, understand. All right. So now let's move to day three. Help problem number two script. Okay, before we yeah, you already know this. But okay, can you please read the new words? Um, um, there are three new words for me. Uh, chiropractic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the congestion, mm -hmm. over the counter, mm -hmm. pain cure. That explains it. Okay, so again, the first <coughs> one is chiropractic. Chiropractic. Do you know uh, what is that? No. Uh huh. Uh, usually it is the the one I know. It's a treatment for the bones. Like for example, if you are having a back pain, or it's like a massage, but it's a different level of massage because your bone will be will be will be moved to its right places and then yeah it's very extreme massage have you seen that before wait for me is that like when it was my dictionary <laughs> all right i'll wait for you 
Oh, my dad took him. My dad took him. You can uh, use an internet. Do you want to use an internet? For me. So I will use the internet. Uh, what is a uh, um, geopathic? A geopathic here. Yeah. Um, Oh, <clears throat> have you seen it? Wait for me. for me. Oh, yeah, I know it now. Wait uh -huh. for me. To... <clears throat> what is? The congestant. Mm -hmm. Okay, but hold on. Did you got? Uh, did you understand the chiropractic? Yes. Uh -huh. It's a extreme yes. massage, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Okay, decongestant is a medicine. It is used oh. to yeah. That is to used to relieve nasal congestion or. Nice. I will. So, uh huh. I will. Uh, I will. Um. Um. Do you know what is nasal? No. It's like uh, um, if you have a when you are. Wait for me. Uh -huh. I will uh -huh. use the. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, um, dictionary. All right. I'll wait. Just tell me when you saw it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I know that again. Uh huh. Yeah, so you already know that? Yeah. Okay, very good. And for the last one is the over, over, over the counter. Uh -huh. Over the counter are the medicine. Oh, yeah, I know that again. <laughs> Can you tell me what is over the counter? Over the counter is um um this is uh, drugs and, um it has a lot of meaning that dictionary show me mm -hmm. a lot of that is if if a drug or gun or etc is available over the counter that uh -huh. you can yes. Uh -huh. Over the counter, counter medicines are the medicines that you don't have a prescription from the doctor that you can buy it on your own, all right? Because you know some of the strong medicines you have to to have a what do you call this? To have a prescription. Do you know what is prescription? Yeah. Uh huh. It's a recommendation. That that an over an over the counter medicine is bought from a shop without uh having a description of doctor. Yes, very good. All right, good job. Now let's continue. Hold on. So you already know the painkiller, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Now let's continue. Okay, can you please read the script? Yeah. Dr. Anderson. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, uh, cover your face, doctor. Mm, what? Wow. You have a cold. That's for sure. What about the other stuff? The pain is the back and the, uh, and the side. Have you taken any medication lately? Just mm -hmm. yes, some over the counter stuff. Peculiar, go to please, must spray. That sounds okay. And some cough medicine, vitamins, antacid. 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 Mm -hmm. That's a lot of medicine. And some decongestant. And some day consistent. Oh, that's too much medicine in one day. That's maybe why you feel it so bad. Have you been around anyone else who's sick? Ah, 
My friend Donna has a cold all week. We lived with last night for about an hour. Ran five miles. He had to walk the last mile. <laughs> Hold on. Lifted. 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 Weights. Weights. Do you know what is weights? Yeah. Is it our uh, heavy? Uh huh. Uh, but in an exercise, it is a barbell. Do you know what is barbell? When you go barbell? to the gym, mm -hmm, the one that you are using. Okay, let in me show you so that you can un you can understand the story. Oh yes, who? Yes, good job. My dad have one. Oh, this is not the weights I'm talking about. Where's uh -huh. gym? I can see the wish. This one. Wait. Yes. <laughs> okay, Kenti. Your dad have... using that? No, but my dad have one and he offered. <gasps> <laughs> All right, let's continue. Is that your usual exercise routine? Mm -hmm, yes, I started it yesterday. Well, that explains it. You exercise too much. That's all. That's all. A little zero perfect treatment might help you. Stay away from me. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. So, before I ask you a personal question, let's move to the questions about the video. All right. So, who has taken medications lately? Uh, is this Paul? Uh huh. Good job, Paul. Was taking medications lately, and does Paul need cold tablets? Yes, he does because he said that I take cold tablets, pills, and uh, NASA spray. That the doctor said uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm, very good. And what other medications is Paul taking? Mm. Oh no. Paul didn't do well after taking your medication. No, sorry. Other medication is Paul taking is the digestion, digestion, decongestion, uh, decongestion, uh, vitamins, um, mm -hmm. Because it has a nasal. I can't remember all. <laughs> huh? uh, just tell me, what are those? Mm, what kind of medication? What kind? Just, just not the exact word, but what kind of medication is Paul taking? Hmm. 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 Can you try? No. <laughs> All right, so Paul has been taking pain relievers, uh, cold tablets, what do you call this, cold tablets, and for, yeah, I forgot to, hold on, pain relievers and cold tablets, yeah, I guess that's two. All right, so did Paul feel well after taking those <coughs> medications? No, he didn't. <laughs> and he feel bad after taking those medications. Yes, very good. He feels bad after taking the medication. Has Paul been around anyone who is sick? Yes, he has, a, he has been around his friend named Donna. Mm-hmm. And what is Paul's usual routine? That lifts the weight. Uh huh. What else? Um. 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 <laughs> um One thousand years later. Um. <laughs> Um, and lifting weights. What else? 
There's another one. Midwest and 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 try to remember what is the common exercise. He eat and drink. <laughs> uh huh. So again, do you want me to answer for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Paul's usual routine was lifting weights and running for five miles. Oh yeah, I forget it. My friend, that that night, Okay, hold on. And does Paul like? Chiropractic, chiropractic treatment? No, that when Bob said that Paul need a, a chiropractic treatment, he said, stay away from me. I hate you, I scare you. Ah, uh -huh. all right, very good. Okay, so let's continue. Hold on. I have questions. I have personal question, not personal. Here is a question for you. Oh, or what do you know about the SARS virus? Do you know this? I don't know what is the SARS virus. Oh, so you haven't heard that? Yeah, I uh -huh. never heard about that. Uh, I forgot already what is the SARS virus, but it is one of the famous. Uh, disease or virus before and it was I, I'm not sure where it is originated but yeah it has been famous because it caused uh, a lot of people like a lot of people has been sick because of this virus but luckily this virus has been gone yeah. for uh -huh, for years now but yeah, there are still virus that has been coming in and out from another country, but it's different. But I think it's still dangerous. Yeah, so how about in Vietnam? What, uh, is there a famous virus that's, that comes from Vietnam or that uh, goes in Vietnam? Um, I don't. You don't know? Um. Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh, maybe Vietnam is so healthy. I mean, <laughs> it is a safe place and it is away from the disease or viruses like SARS. Yeah, but one thing is for sure, SARS was one of the famous virus before that comes in and out from different country and it caused uh, a lot of people. Yeah, that is so sad before. Mm -hmm. SARS, SARS uh, is available for everybody, and Vietnam has one, but uh, the, pe uh, the people is less, but the animal is a lot. Um, oh. That the animal die, that they can't breathe when they have SARS virus. So, um, I I remember about the year about um one um no wait nineteen yeah about the nineteen uh -huh. that um that lot of uh, animal dead uh in the road in the street uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, I think one of the, not just people, it's also animals. Yeah, that is so sad, yeah. right? Yeah, you have to really be careful for your health because being sick is not that easy. Okay, ouch, hold on. All right, so let's move to second question. Why do people smoke? Do you know? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. because... Uh, in smoke, uh, it has nicotine that make people up to the sky, so mm -hmm. they want more. And that people think they are cool when they smoke. So, and 
they see and so they see body uh, they see another smoke and they study and they oh oh up the sky I want more yeah mm -hmm. okay hold on so I'm curious how did you learn that <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, do you already yeah. have lessons uh, for smoking? When I was when I was child, that my uh, that people think that smoke is really bad. And when I was in grade four or five, my teacher said that that we have an a science lesson about uh, so how bad is the smoke. Uh huh. Okay, so it's a good thing that you are still young and you already, your teacher already educate you with that because here I can't remember when was the first time I learned that smoking is bad it, at school. All right, yeah, I don't, I can't remember. Does your mom or your dad smoke? No, but my dad, uh, my dad, that now is my grandfather. Um, <laughs> Hey, smoke, uh -huh. but now he's gone. Oh, does he smoke a lot? Yes, every day he smoke. Um, every time, every day, everywhere he smoke, smoke, smoke. That now he's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't expose yourself to those people who are smoking because secondhand smoke is also dangerous too. Do you know what is secondhand smoke? No. Uh, the smoke that inhales by the person who isn't smoking. For example, for example only, if your dad is smoking and you can smell the smoke, you can inhale the smoke, then you are the secondhand smoker, which is oh. more dangerous than the firsthand smoker. Yeah. Uh, do you know what kind of disease you can get in smoking? Um, we will have matter about our breed, and we can have SARS virus. Mm -hmm. No, all right. So, are you familiar with lung cancer? With what? Lung cancer. Are you familiar? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me type it. This is, hold on, oops, for a moment, this one, are you familiar with this? Lung cancer, lung cancer, are you familiar with that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, one of the disease or the illness that we can get is lung cancer. If we smoke, not only when we smoke, if we inhale, the smoker, I mean the smoke of the cigarette. It is actually lung lung cancer is more is more what do you call this? Is more closer to those who inhale the secondhand smoke. So secondhand smoker is more dangerous than the first hand smoker. Did you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have an area in Vietnam where you can smoke and where you can't smoke? Yeah, when we are in public, we can't smoke. But in some big um, supermarket, uh, in some special area that we can, uh, we have a a private room mm -hmm. to smoke. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. no? Uh huh. All right. So, should smoking in restaurants be banned? Oh, hold on. 
I skip the question for a moment. What's the best way to stop smoking? Wait for me. <laughs> oh, bang, where did you bang, go? Bang, 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 bang. Um, the best way to stop smoking is use TV. <laughs> or What's, that? What's that? It is the drink that make our mouth um um smell good and have a oh it's like a mouthwash for our teeth. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, and you know that when the people are smoking and if they want to stop, they can use or yeah they can eat ice can no no uh a lollipop. <laughs> Do you know what is a lollipop? I don't know. Mm, no, like a candy that is on a stick. Lollipop. This one. Mm. Lollipop. You don't know lollipop? Mm. Pop, I think it's about corn. It's a oh, candy? Please? Yeah. Oh, you call it candy. Yeah, because most of the smokers just when they are being addicted to smoke, then mm, and what do you call this? And letting go smoking is hard for them. So what they do is to to aside from smoke, they have the alternative like candy to put in their mouth. Like it's just like yeah. they are smoking, but actually no. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, should smoking in the restaurants be banned? Yes. Mm -hmm. But if the restaurant have a um have a room for smoke, that is okay. But mm -hmm. if restaurant don't have that room, the smoking should be banned because it have a lot of effect uh, to people around mm -hmm. who smoke. Yes, very good. And do you think traditional therapies are compatible with modern medicine? Why or why not? Oh, yeah. Um, I think traditional therapies is compatible with mm -hmm. modern how can you say so? I think modern medicine is compatible oh. than the traditional therapies because now the traditional therapies, uh, the, the ingredients to make traditional therapies is really rare. Mm -hmm. And now we have a lot of modern medicine that can uh, prevent the matter immediately. So mm -hmm. why? We need to use traditional therapies. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. very good. So, yeah, for me also, I think it depends. It depends on the disease. Yeah, but okay, if we have modern medicine, let's use modern medicine, right? Are you using that mouthwash? Is this? Uh huh. Are you using that mouthwash? I have a bottle. I have another bottle in using. Uh huh. Okay. So we are already done in the health topic. We will now move to travel. All right. So, when was the last time you went traveling? Because we've been, I don't know if from the time we didn't have class, you traveled, right? So, when was the last time you went to travel?
is one years ago. Oh, uh-huh, again, one year ago. Teacher? One yeah. year ago, Maybe. not one years ago. One year ago. Uh huh. No S. Right? Yes, yes, very good. But if it's two and more, it has an S. Okay. Yes. Okay. Really, one year ago, I I can't remember. Where did you go before? Uh, that I saw you. That I go to a cool beach. Oh, I cool already language. forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, Halong Bay. Have you been in Halong Bay before? Yes, I've been there twice. This is the first time when I was really, really, really young. Mm-hmm. That I am not uh, go to the kindergarten. As you, as you see, that my mom took me to the Halong Bay. The <laughs> second time that when I in grade two. Mm-hmm. Oh, what is, can you describe to me what is Halong Bay? I mean, what are the things that you can do in Halong Bay? And oh, what can you see in Halong Bay? Oh, we can see a lot of uh, Iceland and... Uh, Iceland, not Island? Water of the sea. Okay. Uh, Halong Bay... Have a uh, the uh, have a lot of um, what's that many big them uh, too that is like uh yeah something. Mm-hmm. All right, I understand. So that uh-huh. we can go fishing there. It's by at this kind of cave. Aha, uh-huh. so Halong Bay is more on uh, an ocean that it has a a lot of islands, different, what do you call it? different resort or different hotels with beach. Am I correct? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Aha, uh-huh. did you have fun there? What are you doing with your mouth? <laughs> Nothing. I can remain. Uh-huh. I can. I can because when I been there the last time, I'm too young. <gasps> no, I can't remember. Uh huh. All right. By the way, how about your? What do you call this? How about in Danang? Have you been? Have you been in Danang before? Yeah, two years ago. Oh, that's just two years ago. Yeah, that my um my my aunt that that she rent a resort for us that oh it's really convenient uh, it's really comfortable and the beach is very clean and beautiful that is so big. Wow. Your aunt is uh, very rich. I mean, your aunt has a lot of money to rent a resort. Yeah. <laughs> is that your uh, is that your father's sister or your mother's sister? Mm, that is my father's sister. Uh-huh. Really? So oh wow, it's amazing. You are in a big r- resort together with your family. You just stay there? Wow. Well, uh-huh. So you just stayed in the hotel while you... Oh, uh, we stay you... in that. Teacher? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Mm-hmm. So you just stayed there the whole trip? Hello? Um, yeah. Not we uh, swimming. Teacher, can you hear me now? <laughs> Hello, can you speak Teacher. again? Hello? Hello, kid? Teacher, hello. Can you hello? hear me? Hello. Hello. Okay, uh, I can hear you. 
All right. Oh, by the way, kid, it's already our time. So we are just going to continue our class on yeah, next week. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Good night. Bye.